Good morning. Good late afternoon. Or good evening. That's all possible in the globe we all live in. There's a lot in the world that has another time frame to get up and to go to bed. But anyway, I welcome you all to a new morning and blessings in His presence. This is Reverend Yeti. For all the people in the United States, I wish you a blessed, happy, and joyful Labor Day weekend. Enjoy it with your family, with your friends, in the healthy, safe space we still have to be. Faith then is birth in a heart that responds to God's anointed utterance of the anointed one. Romans 10, 17. As we rise, we try to wake up, maybe already with full of thoughts what needs to be done in that day. That are rising for this morning as most born again people know what it's like to be in a confusion or trouble and have someone speak a word that brings a supernatural invasion of peace into their soul. You might not even have all of the answers you thought you needed five minutes ago. But for some reason, you don't care. Their words were the spirit of revelation from God himself. The same way that Jesus became flesh, the Holy Spirit becomes words, and when they are spoken, they bring life. We don't even have to comprehend it to embrace it. We just have to wrap our hearts around it, and eventually it will start making sense. Let us pray. Lord my God, create in me a heart that responds to you. Increase my faith so that I can bring your kingdom to the earth as you intended. And maybe you still sit for a while in that rise moment to get everything ready and your thoughts as far as it's possible to do that. And then you move on. For some, the weekends will be exactly the same as the days in the week. But I wish and bless you with a wonderful day of joy and peace. Blessed weekend.
as every person comes to an end of the day. I hope that you come to a rest moment, that you find a quiet place. And again, for all of us, that's different. Some go to a place where it is totally quiet or take a walk outside before they go to bed. Some going in their garden, taking a meditative moment. Some go to bed with a good book that they want to finish. Even if it is a novel or more a meditation book or reading the Word of God. It all comes to a rest point in our evening before we go to sleep. To come in that rest point and listen to the words I want to give to you. Revelation is for every believer, not just for some gifted folks. The greater revelation that a person carries, the greater faith he or she is able to exercise. If I believe it's not God's desire to heal everybody, then my revelation limits me every time a person comes to me who is sick. I have to settle it in my heart. Is God's will to heal people? As long as I shun the revelation that God wants everybody to be healed and whole, I have cut myself off from releasing faith in the area. Revelation enlarges the arena in which our faith can function. As Jesus again speaks to our mind or hearts or through people, he speaks to us now in these words, the amount of faith you have right now is enough. Don't hide it. Take your faith and put it to work. Take a risk, take a risk in my name, trust in my word and watch as your faith grows. you find peace within. Close that book. Go inside. Good night. May you sleep well. Blessings.